Hello, welcome to Easy Eatery. Today we're going to make some baked cod in the air fryer, but it's only going to be baked. It's not going to be breaded. Let's go see how easy it is to put together. All you need is some cod, some lemon, some butter, some Old Bay seasoning, some garlic salt, some paprika, and some black pepper. Let's start off by cutting up our lemon. I'm going to keep a couple little slices to use on the side as garnish, and I'm just going to go ahead and put the rest of it off to the side for now. We're going to be using it in just a moment. I'm going to be using this little pan here, which is perfect for this size cod. Um, mine came frozen, so I'm going to go wash it off, and then I'm going to go ahead and pat it all dry. Now that that is all clean and dried off, we're going to go ahead and take some of our garlic salt and uh, we're going to do that on either side. Well, we're going to do that with all of our seasonings. We're just going to kind of sprinkle everything on either side of, of it. So we're going to go ahead and try and open up our Old Bay. I always open up the wrong end of it for some reason, but we want the smaller end. <laughs> and then we're going to just gonna go ahead and do that on that um, on either side, as well as our pepper and our, um, what else are we using? Oh, paprika. So we're just going to do that, season it on both sides. Now that everything is all seasoned, we're going to take our lemon and just kind of squeeze it around all over the place. We want it in the bottom of our pan as much as we can possibly get. It is going to get a little bit juicy. Pick out the seeds. I always have seeds that fall out all over the place. Now we're going to take our butter and just put a couple little pats on the top of it. Now we're just going to take a couple of our little lemon slices and put those directly on top. Now when they're cooking, they are going to fall off, which is totally okay because all of the flavors from the lemons are the juice and everything is already in your um, cod when you're cooking it. So trust me, it doesn't matter, but, it, but it's kind of looks pretty going in there, right? Doesn't that look pretty? So anyway, we're going to pop that in there at 390 degrees for about 10 minutes. We're going to want to check it at eight minutes though. So after eight minutes, this is what it looks like. I almost forgot to put some asparagus in there because I really like asparagus and I thought, okay, mine is from frozen. So that literally does take me seven minutes. So Anyway, I went ahead and, and put that in there just a minute after I started cooking it. So after eight minutes, this is what it looks like. And I told you that there's a lot of drippings that's going to be left over. So don't worry about the lemons falling off because this is plenty lemony enough. So now I'm going to take a quick picture break and I got to entice you guys to come check out my video. <laughs> so I'll be right back. This is where I have to entice you just a little bit because look at this, you guys, it is cooked to perfection. Eight minutes in the air fryer is all it took and I didn't preheat it or anything like that. So um, eight minutes total and look at that. It is nice and flaky and just, it's so lemony. I mean, you can taste all of those spices. Of course, I gotta take a bite with the asparagus in there. The asparagus absorbed so many of those juices as well. It's so buttery and you can taste everything, all of the, everything right in there. Just delicious. A nice little twist on the ones that I normally make, which is breaded, but um, I've, I've liked this one as well, the one I'm trying to be a little bit fancy. <laughs> so anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe and please give the video a thumbs up so that the algorithms can pick it up. I would really appreciate it. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye now.